Welcome to this required practical video for physics. This is required practical seven, looking at acceleration using an air track. So just to talk you through some of the equipment that we have here. Uh, this is our air blower. Uh, sometimes you get vacuums that can be set to either suck or blow. This one just blows air out for our air track. Uh, we've got our uh, trolley or our, I forgot what they call it on the sheet. What they call it on the sheet? Glider. Glider, that's the one, glider. Um, are you still filming? Cool. <laughs> Professional quality, this is. So we've got our glider. We've pre-put some blue tack on the sides because in our experiment later on, you need to remove some of the masses that are going to be uh, causing the force that pulls it along and sticking them onto our uh, glider. So that's why we put those on there ready because we want to keep the mass the same. We've got our two light gates and we've got our piece of card. Now the piece of card is um, five centimetres tall and 10 centimetres long. And that is so that you can calibrate your uh, sensing software so as it goes through the light gates, it can correctly calculate acceleration between the two points. This is our air track with lots of nice little holes in it so that the air comes out of those and means that friction is reduced so that our um, shuttle can travel nice and easily. And then over this side, Yes, I know, I've just said three different names for the same piece of equipment. That's my bag. Uh, we've got our nice loop and our masses that we hang on the end. And they go through this little pulley system, again, to reduce friction. So as that pulls down, it's going to move our glider along. For your equipment ready, the first thing you need to do is calibrate your air track to make sure that it's lined up properly. To do that, I'm not going to do it now because as soon as you turn the air track on, it becomes incredibly noisy. But with your air flowing, you should be able to put your um, little shuttle in the middle and it shouldn't move very much. It should just float there nicely without sliding back and forwards. So that means that we've got no extra help um, from the air track being slanted, skewing our results. You need to make sure of is that as your trolley or your glider passes through the second light gate, you want to make sure that your masses aren't yet touching the floor because if the masses hit the floor, that means you're not going to be getting that constant acceleration due to that force. So you've got to make sure that that doesn't happen. Okay, this is our sensing software that we've got set up on a computer. Apologies for the slightly flickery image. Um, so we're going to choose timing, and we are going to choose acceleration. We are going to choose acceleration from our light gate A to light gate B. It then asks you to say what size your card is, and ours is 10 centimetres or 100 millimetres. Next, you need to choose your units. We're quite happy with the ones we've got. And we are only worried about acceleration from A to B. We don't want it to show us any of these other values, so we're just going to leave it there. And now we're all ready to go. So all we have to do is click Start at the top, and then set our trolley moving, and then each test should give us a new set of data run our first experiment. Um, all I have to do is turn on the blower and get our air track running and then I will start the computer program. Now it's not going to do anything until it goes through our first light gate, so here goes. <laughs> okay, so there's our first data point um, with our acceleration already locked for us. So now we're going to try it again after having modified our experiment. We did uh, our three experiments off camera, just because it'd be silly you having to watch us do the same thing over and over again. Uh, so we've got our three re readings, and we're now going to be able to use these to calculate a mean. For the next part of the experiment, we've taken one of our masses off from our pulley at the end, and we've added it to our trolley. This means that the overall mass is remaining the same, but now we have less force pulling our trolley along. So hopefully we'll see a change in our acceleration. So let's start up the blower. We did the rest of the experiment uh, off camera. Uh, now you can see we've taken our masses off of our hook mass and we've added them onto our um, trolley. So this is the last experiment in the series. We'll run this one now and then we'll show you our results. Here's our results, really nicely showing that our first three experiments, very, very similar acceleration each time, as we would hope, because we didn't really change anything. And then as we moved the masses 
onto our trolley instead of being adding to our force. That means each time we had less force pulling our trolley along, our acceleration got smaller and smaller and smaller, which is exactly what we'd expect.